Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great week, folks. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple of the year to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your lover, and every kiss and every touch you feel you to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Look at eyes. Let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 42, NASDAQ up 69, S&P's up 16, gold contract on $7.30 trading at $14.86 an ounce. We have silver flat, $17.58. Silver's showing more strength than gold out here. Uh, gold is uh, down. You, you don't have any volume on the way down, but the bottom line, silver is uh, peaking its head uh, higher. Oil. Oil's down a half a buck, trading $53.35. We have light sweet uh, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year down 13 ticks, 129.20. 30-year off 27 ticks at 159.12. Both of these are down with dramatically lighter volume. It's pretty cool how this thing is shaking out, actually. We're going to take a look at the 30-year. You got to remember the 30th. Uh, what's going to be? That's going to be next week. Uh, we're going to have the Fed come out with another meeting, come out with a statement. And, uh, you know, right now the Fed fund futures rate probability-wise is that they are going to come in with a cut. Um, you know, 30-year right now, uh, we are down uh, 161,000 contracts. And uh, that's anemic contract volume. That's going into, folks, 460,000 contracts. Big number. Big number. Dollar. Dollar bottom line traded flat out here today. What we have... Dollar came down last week with conviction. Uh, bottom line, five days, we went from uh, 98, 645 to 97, 629. Dollar wants to make its way down to the swing low of the 25th of June. That number is 95,843. Now, it was intriguing about the dollar. You can make the case, technically this is for sure, is that this dollar wants to trade all the way back down to February of 2018, which is 88,253. If you take a look at this, what you're going to see out here is that we did break the trend. And that trend's been, uh, for, that's a long time, man. I mean, the bottom line, that, that's February of 2018. And what you're going to see here, and you broke this trend with conviction. You know, so in order to basically uh, technically say that this baby is going to get higher again, you know, bottom line, you'd have to, um, here, I'll make this a better looking one for you. So let's try this once again. So we get this trend line. Set this baby up, and what you're going to see is that, you know, we broke that, and we broke it with conviction. You know, the in order to get above the trend right now, again, you'd have to get on the other side of 97,333. So the way this is set up on a longer-term basis is saying that, yes, it can get down into that uh, 88,253 mark. Now, if we go over and we take a look at the what, what could make that happen, You'd get into the euro first, bottom line. Euro, you know, last three weeks, we just went from 108 to 111. Euro had broken its downtrend that the euro's had a lot of downtrends, but this one is from 114. Uh, euro looks like 114 is going to be game, and uh, we'll see uh, how it shakes out from, from that particular point. The pound, the British pound, also bottom line, higher price. The pound took off like a rocket ship about two weeks ago from 121 to 130. Uh, this pound is set up to get into the 133 mark. It looks pretty, um, yeah, 133.88. And, you know, guess what? If you launch 133.88, there's no reason the pound can't get up to that 143. Now, there's, there's no doubt they're still dealing with Brexit and all of the above over there. But what we have found out technically is that it looks like as soon as the deal, any kind of deal gets signed, any kind of deal, you're going to see the euro as well as the pound go to higher price. The wild card out here for us that are in the metals market uh, is the yen. What we have with the yen out here, uh, the yen is at 108.59. Uh, backed off the uh, 108.94. Um, you know, there's a swing point up here at 109.32 that uh, if you are bullish in the gold market, you don't want to see that basically get taken out. Why? Because the weaker yen uh, sets up weaker gold. And the thing that's pretty incredible inside the yen is that the Bank of Japan, uh, bottom line, you know, said that they're going to basically 
uh, continue to basically um, not try to weaken the end. Uh, but, but the bottom line is that they certainly don't want it to get stronger. And uh, they said for the first time in approximately 10 to 15 years that they felt that they were expanding somewhat. And uh, you think that right off the bat that, okay, that, uh, that yen could get stronger. But the bottom line, it didn't. It, it, that, it's at an inflection point right at that 109 area. That's the, that's the number that you want to keep a close eye on. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, and we will have a low volume uh, market out here once again. You get Bank of America up 72 cents. Halliburton is up a buck. You get Apple. Apple's, Apple's moving. Apple's got the composite going. Apple's at a new all-time high. Up $4.24, 240 bucks. 240 bucks. Amazing. Uh, Boeing. Boeing is uh, down $14. Boeing is giving the Dow Industrials a conniption out here. Uh, 13 million shares of monster volume. We did 13.5 million on Friday. And if we do go take a look at Boeing, what you're going to see how this set up is out here is that you have a high volume low sitting. Let me pull this back a bit. You're going to see the bottom of the consolidation. It's amazing how long it takes actually to come down and hit these sometimes. So the bottom of the consolidation is $292. Uh, Boeing has been laying at basically the same place now since January of 2018. Uh, we bred broken topside, went 295 to 360, made an all-time high out here. March of 2019, that lumber was at 446. Now it's making its way back down to the lower end of this. And uh, let's see. So we get 10 days left. You know, even though what you have here at Boeing is this. Even though we have come down volume on the dailies. Let me see what the weeklies are. The monthlies are still light volume here. Let me see this on a weekly. So on a weekly... You're coming into 16 million. We've done 13. Oh, it's only Monday. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're coming down with some volume, man. We're coming down with some volume. No, no doubt about that. Boeing's got its own uh, problems cut out for it. Stay right there, folks. We're going to be coming back. We're going to come back with our man, Mr. Dave Mazza. Dave is the managing director, head of product development at Direction Shares. And, of course, we uh, all trade these triples. Dave and I come right back, folks. Stay right there.